This video is taking a look at the negative parts of Arsenal's defending whilst playing against Liverpool. Specifically, individual mistakes, the defensive line and Bellerin trying to deal with the pace and positioning of Mane. So the, the corner has been cleared and Liverpool have taken a quick throw in. Salah lifts his head up and he's going to make a long cross. As there's no pressure on the ball, there has to be a big red flag to the defenders that they have to pick up a man, they have to stop runners getting into the box and they have to make sure that if they're in numerical equality that they need to be man marking. So when this ball comes over, it should not be coming over Mustafi's head. Mustafi's got time to look across and see where Van Dijk is, where Firmino is and where Bellerin is. So for me, the two of them need to be touched tight and Bellerin can see that Mustafi is in a poor position so now he's in between Firmino and Dyke when he should only be with Firmino and obviously Van Dyke has a great opportunity to score and and his goalkeeper bravely comes out and saves him this image for me is is unbelievable really that we can see there in the distance that Salah has just received the ball he's going to pick his head up and make a cross in we can see Mustafi looking across to where Bellerin is so he must be able to see Van Dijk and Firmino and he's actually communicating something here pointing across so it looks like he's pointing to Bellerin to pick up Van Dijk so that he can be free which is absolutely insanity because we can see here that he just gets caught completely out of position and Arsenal really really lucky not to concede a goal okay so the defensive line in transition in this image Again, we can see there's no pressure on the ball and the Arsenal defence is not in a straight line. They're all at different levels. Bellerin is higher than Mustafi and Holding. Mustafi's just slightly out of the picture, but he is there, I promise you. Kolasinic is obviously concerned about the, the pace of Salah and for him to be able to get behind him because the line's quite high. So as there's no pressure on the ball, he's dropped back. The ball's come over. Okay, so I stopped it at this image just to show that if Salah now makes a headed pass into Mane, Mane is through on goal with a great opportunity to score. Although the Arsenal players are getting back, Bellerin needs to get goal side of Mane there. In this image, the ball has been knocked back into Firmino, and still, Bellerin isn't goal side of Mane. So if this ball is able to be put into the path of Alex Arnold, then Liverpool have got a two versus one situation developing in the penalty area. Sorry Mustafi, but it's another Mustafi mistake. Again, not enough pressure on the ball. Liverpool have got the ball on the right hand side of the pitch. They've cut inside, he's lifted his head up. So this is a signal that he could cross the ball. When the ball is crossed, Mustafi tries to step out and catch Mane offside. But as we can see, Firmino is moving in from the second line. This is a better angle. I think in this position, Mustafi needed to step across to prevent Firmino from moving in. And Bellerin could have communicated better. Bellerin could have communicated better and stepped across with Mane. If the ball comes all the way over to Milner, then Arsenal can deal with that later. But the most important thing is to defend that central area. So we can see here, he's not offside. Mane is not offside and it should have been 1-0. In this example... Holding allows Salah to come inside. Toreda loses his man on the edge of the box and Mustafi's positioning in the box is questionable. So here we can see the ball's been played down the line. Holding's gone out to try and stop Salah or slow him down. For me here, Holding has to keep Salah on his right foot. You can't allow him to cut inside. If you can try and force him onto his right foot, you've got a better chance of defending him. Mustafi, we can see, is, is keeping his eye on Firmino. And Bellerin is his goal side of Mane. Toreda also is coming back in to defend. In this image here, we can see that Salah has dropped the shoulder. Holding is off balance. And now Salah is able to come back onto his right foot. We can also see that Arsenal players are starting to fill the area now. So we can see Toreda and Kolasinic coming back. Bellerin is there with Mane. And Vinaldrum is coming into the into the fray as well I can't pronounce this guy's name so I'm not even going to try number 7 comes back in and he doesn't track Robinson properly so when Salah comes onto his left foot he actually takes a shot but if he crosses the ball in we've got Mane 
and Robinson, two against one developing at the back post. As it happens, the ball does come out to Robinson through a deflection, not through a pass. And again, Arsenal lucky not to pay from defenders not going with their man. Another example is better in out of position. Good cover from Mustafi this time. I'm not going to criticise Mustafi the whole time. Good cover from Mustafi. Slows down the play really well. Here we can see the ball is played down the line. Bellerin is out of position. He should be there with Mane. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Anyway, so the ball goes through to Mane. Mustafi has to go across. Does really well to slow him down. And Holding picks up a nice position in the area. And we can also see six other Arsenal players getting back. And in the next image, we can see just how well Mustafi's done. He slows him down all the way to the edge of the box. And now we've got eight Arsenal players in the penalty area able to defend. So a good reaction there from Mustafi. Another example of better in out of position. Uh, again, good cover from Mustafi. And Arsenal pretty unlucky to concede a goal here. So we can see here Mane has picked up an excellent position in between four Arsenal players. None of them are able to pick him up properly because of his positioning. When the ball comes out to the left back, Mane is going to make that run into the channel. Now for me, because there's an Arsenal player going to pressure the ball, Bellerin doesn't need to be where he is. He could have come inside and been the right side of Mane to be able to track him. When the ball goes into the channel, Mustafi goes out to, to cover and again slows down Mane. And Mane really, from this position, can only make a cross across the penalty area. Now if Arsenal were positioned well, this wouldn't be a problem. Kolasinac needs to be in line with holding. He needs to get into a better position. If he's in a better position, he can now come out and defend this shot, which, as we all know, went in. Okay, so this is another angle. When that ball comes into the channel, Mustafi goes across. Now obviously, when he comes across, there's only two, two defenders in the middle against three Liverpool players, which I've highlighted. And this is what I'm talking about. If Kolasinac was in the position which I'm highlighting here, then he's in a better position to defend and, and Mustafi's good work to force Mane out wide would have been better served. As the cross comes in, okay, the goalkeeper spills the ball and potentially could have held on to it. But if, if Kolasinac is there, he can then jump out and pressurise Milner and be less likely to concede the goal. Okay, so that's the end of the, the video for the poor defending. Hopefully you liked it. Please like and share. Until next time, goodbye.